key to the fantasy football season. And he has a few defenses I would drop this week. The first team in the New England Patriots. So the Patriots definitely got the job done in week seven versus the New York Jets. 17 fantasy points, 13 points allowed, two sacks, two interceptions, a fumble recovery, and two fourth down stops. But right now they got a tough matchup in week eight at the Los Angeles Chargers. That's one of the most explosive offenses in all the NFL here. And the Chargers are coming off a bad loss in week six versus the Baltimore Ravens. And now coming refreshed off the bye in week seven. So right here, week eight, I wouldn't trust the Patriot defense versus Justin Herbert and this explosive Charger offense. And right now for this week, I wouldn't even stash them on my bench as well because they got some mediocre matchups coming up after the Chargers. But right now with all the buys and their defense being up and down this season, their defense I would drop. So they were a great one-week ad versus the New York Jets, and they delivered. But this week in Week 8, I would drop them. The next defense I would drop is the Baltimore Ravens. So the Ravens this season, we know they got tons of injuries on their roster with 15 players on the injured reserve list. So right here, the Ravens, they had a great defensive game in week six versus the Chargers. Six points, two sacks, an interception, and three fourth down stops if you play that in your fantasy weeks. But besides that, they've only had one other double-digit fantasy day the whole season. And week seven, we thought it would be a decent matchup for them versus the Cincinnati Bengals. They got torched in that one for 41 points, an interception, and a fourth down stop in that one. Now week eight, they run by... And then week nine, a tough matchup versus Minnesota. So right here, the next two weeks, Baltimore, they're not going to be a usable defense. And they're not a defense I'm crazy about stashing after the things we've seen from them throughout this season with all the injuries on the roster. So right now, obviously, if you need the roster spot with all the bye weeks in full gear right now, well, you just got a better defense coming off a of bye or whatever. This Raven team's droppable, in my opinion, and the third and final defense I would drop this week is the Carolina Panthers. So a lot of people went out there and got the Panthers because they had a great matchup on paper versus the New York Giants in Week 7. But that didn't translate to good van fantasy value. 23 points allowed, two sacks, and a fourth down stop. And now Week 9, yeah, they're at the Atlanta Falcons. And I know the Falcons aren't the greatest of offenses, but the last few weeks, yeah, they've been scoring the football. And this Panther team, their defense has been put in bad positions because of Sam Darnold turning the ball over. So right now, the Panthers, they got problems at the quarterback position. There's rumors they want Deshaun Watson, but we don't know if that trade's going to happen. And right here, their offense, like I mentioned, is putting them in bad position. Defense in the first three weeks of the season were definitely contributing and playing good football. But right now, the last two or three weeks here, they haven't done much, and their defense I would drop. So that's a few defenses I would drop here in week eight of the fantasy football season.